so we have to go for fifth iteration because here our these cluster in iteration 3 and 4 are not same repeating the same we have to choose calculate the average of cluster 1 2 and then these three belongs to cluster 1 and 13 so calculating the average and average of the rest Choosing the cluster, so it will go to K1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, and 2. Copy and place as iteration number 5. So we have to again match for easy calculation. We just subtract this minus this to see if all are zero. It means that this is done. So what we can see here in fifth iteration, all the values are zero. This shows that we have already reached to the termination point where we don't need to go for any more iteration. Hence, it is concluded that we can make our decision. Remember, we have decided to go for two clusters. Now we can place our this data into two clusters. So our respondent number one belong to cluster number one and 2 belong to cluster 1 then respondent number 5 belong to cluster 1 6 7 and 13 13 belong to cluster number 1 the rest number 3 4 8 9 10 i am picking up all these values okay so respondent number 10 11 12 14 and 15 belong to cluster number 2. Hence, we can conclude that the respondent 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 and 13 have homogeneous properties. So therefore, they are the part of cluster 1 while rest of the respondents are the part of cluster 2. Hence, we conclude that we have followed these steps to come up with our k-means clustering in Excel whereby we have picked two clusters and we randomly choose centroid then each data point was found near to the other center and then we repeated this process until finally we reached to the termination point. Thank you.